Hey folks, just letting you know that this week's upload of Dracula Reacts to Italian Food has been cancelled because um, the guest kind of cancelled on me and everything when he found out I wasn't a virgin. Um, but instead, it's the show. On YouTube, you can. <laughs> hey babe, guess what? What? Two fish are in a tank, and one fish turns to the other one and says, You man the guns, I'll drive. <laughs> when I was in university, I studied a lot of different things. I dabbled in computer science, games development, linguistics, education, and, of course, mathematics. I loved maths, by the way, but sometimes spending so much time looking at numbers, graphs, integrals, and matrices can do some weird things to your head. You start to see patterns in the ground, graphs in the sky, and the intrinsic relationships between everything around you become explicit. And that's when you're awake. I'm not so much reviewing today's game as I am looking at it as an artistic experience. A statistician's fever dream. Let's talk about Metrico, or at least the enhanced version Metrico Plus, but be warned that this might contain spoilers. Developed and published by Dutch developer Digital Dreams, Metrico Plus is a side-scrolling 3D platformer with puzzle-based elements at its core. Wrapped around this though is what makes the experience unique. The world that you are exploring is not some lush jungle or infinite void of space, but a vast array of seemingly meaningless data and information. The figures and relationships that you explore are represented literally as overlays, for example numbers and pie charts that give you hints about how to proceed, and as interactive elements in the environment, for example bar graphs and column graphs that you must navigate to reach your goal. But it's not just the foreground that the data populates. The incredibly minimalist background environment, initially just a solid block of colour, gives way to a beautifully sparse open desert whose geographical features are all different ways of representing data visually, leaving you running in front of a range of line graph mountains or inverse parabolic sand dunes. Adding to the slightly hallucinogenic feel, some background elements, such as sets of Cartesian axes, stand out stark, not a simile or metaphor, but just themselves. The music, composed by Palm Bowman, is an ambient, chill mix of repetitive yet melodic percussion and synths, which fits the dreamlike environment of Metrico perfectly. It feels at times simultaneously 80s while projecting an auditory illusion of what the future may hold. Interestingly, the tracks are constructed in such a way that individual components of them seem to loop independently of each other, while still creating one cohesive piece, which allows the flow of music in Metrico to tie to the progress that you've made through the level. Narrative-wise, Metrico doesn't have much going on. You're dropped into this surreal mathematical playing with no explanation as to why, and as you progress through the stages, you're not given much more, if anything. But this isn't really a problem. Each time you complete a stage, you're given a choice out of two body pieces to be converted into what, to me, appears to be some kind of metallic exoskeleton, although your choices don't have any non-aesthetic effect on the game. This lack of narrative drive throughout the experience is capstoned by an ending that makes sense based on what you've been through, although it is left up to the audience to determine precisely what happened and, more importantly, why. This kind of authorial distancing from the meaning behind a piece, instead allowing the viewer to prescribe their own meaning to the piece, is something I would like to see done more often in games. Metrico is, in my opinion, a great experience. It's quite short, I finished it in an evening, but it's also something that I've never seen before, and that's important to me. It's going to be an experience that I remember, and that's worth something. It's $14 on Steam, and available right now. Also, I'm gonna risk one of Take me down to the paradox city where the grass is green and this statement is false. Hey everybody, we're gonna do the quiz and we're gonna do it really fast because we've only got a very short period of time. This is Sam, my boyfriend. Say hi to Sam. Good, that's all good you said. Hi to Sam. Sam, do you know the rules of the quiz? I do. You have to get the questions wrong instead of right. You've got a minute and a half to answer 12 questions. 
and that time starts very very soon when my assistant Jorge hits the button now quiet or sexy which word completes the film title all blank on the western front all sexy coffee or tea what is rooibos a variety of <laughs> coffee fox or chicken what animal is disney's robin hood he is a chicken it or up which film features a supernatural murder clown <laughs> up homer or marge who wrote the iliad and the odyssey Marge? Jerk or bastard? Which is a weightlifting move? It's a bastard. Sirius or James? What is the name of the brightest star visible from Earth? Could I have the names again? Sirius or James? Sirius. No! Quiet or sexy? Which sexy. Coffee or tea? Which coffee. Is fox or chicken? Chicken. What is it or up? Which up. film is a Homer or Marge? Marge. Who wrote the jerk or bastard? Which bastard. is a Sirius or James? James. Which is a bees or bats? What is the first horror unleashed by Jumanji? Bees. Apollo or Phoenix? Which mythological bird rises from its own ashes? Could I add those two again? Apollo or Phoenix? Apollo. Aardvark or bunny? What animal is Arthur from the TV show of the same name? A bunny. A. A. Milne or C. S. Lewis, who wrote Winnie the Pooh? C. S. Lewis. Last question, Goku or Saitama, who is the protagonist of One Punch Man? It's Goku. Correct! Well done, you won! Like, right then, <laughs> Right so, then. Yes, good job. You've done for- it won't shut up. Dismiss. <laughs> Go, good. Yeah. Good job, you won. Congratulations, what would you like your prize to be? Food. I could do food. <laughs> yes. Come here, come here, come here. I love you. I love you too. Bye! Bye. Because then I will have room for the church. Oh! Oh! Okay, I like that.